Why am I not surprised? <laughs> a food event, <laughs> and there's our superintendent, Michael Lamb. Yeah. I wonder why I didn't get asked to judge. <laughs> <laughs> appropriate question there, isn't it? <laughs> I'm Cindy Lancaster and I'm a board member. And I'm Tracy Fox and I'm here because I like to eat. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Well, well one of us, yeah, you know, has to be able to. She yeah. uh, This isn't just a cooking event, it's a race against time. Yeah. start making advertisers using ingredients from the list we have put together. Only six teams will move on to the second round where they will make a main dish using the same list of ingredients. Three teams will be elim eliminated after this round and the remaining three teams will prepare a dessert. The team with the highest overall points will be the winner. We have a panel of judges that will be scoring the meals based on appearance, taste, and teamwork. Now let's meet our judges. Okay, our first one is Barbara Palmer. Where there's Barbara right there. Barbara is the owner of Pioneer Cafe in downtown Sulphur Springs. Barbara has grown up with a love of cooking and entertaining. In fact, she started cooking as soon as she could reach the stove. I started eating as soon as I could reach the cabinet. Yeah. And also, Barbara has started cooking professionally nine years ago when she opened the Pioneer Cafe. Thank you, Barbara. We love Barbara! We have another Palmer. This one is Lindsay Caldwell Palmer. She's the chef and owner of Lindsay's Plates and Provisions, also at Sulphur Springs on Main Street. There she is in the picture. Lindsay graduated from the Culinary Institute of America, woohoo, in Hyde Park, New York, and has spent time working across the country for magazines, restaurants, and private clubs. Lindsay believes in the integrity of food. I'm looking at the crowd. Yeah. Uh, and strives to make dishes with intention and from scratch, letting the fresh ingredients shine. Thank you for doing this, Lindsay. Okay, and judge number four is Ben Spragans. Where's Ben? Right there. Three, sorry. We had a ghost judge for a while. Okay, Ben is a foodie extraordinaire who has also had a love cooking since he was very little. Ben has catered everything from large events and weddings to intimate dinners. He has entered and placed in almost every cooking event in the area, including the Hot August Barbecue Challenge, the Net Buyer Rib Roundup, and the Hopkins County Street Contest. To Ben, the best part of cooking is seeing people enjoy his food. Please welcome Ben. Thank you. And now let's meet our teams. Okay, team 
Cody Grubb, where are you? Right here. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to let you tell us who you are. I am Trent Rexy. Trent Rexy. Will Douglas. Will Douglas. Ryan Murray. And Ron Stillwagner. Yay, yeah, Ron. We're, we're so glad y'all are here. Thank you. Susan Smith, Josh Ann Davis, Davis, Mary Ellen Hoyberg, Myra Watson. Watson. Thank, Thank you. you. Woo! Now we have Team Scouts. Oh, oh, yes. Right behind you. Okay. okay. Your name, please? Assistant, Assistant Scoutmaster Russell Krennic. Okay. Assistant, Assistant Scoutmaster Theta Pope. An innocent bystander, Roddy Pope. You didn't even know what he said. They made you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, we are so, so glad, glad you're here. here. Thank you. Son. Okay, how about Team Whipped? Wow. Yes. Blake Johnson. Robin Bond. Chef Miguel. <laughs> These are both, you voted these people in the office. <laughs> I'm just reminding you. Yeah. Uh, okay, where's my Tully Tater Tots? Okay, in the blue. And you are? Jason Tully. Twilight Hill. Melanie Townsend. Casey Knox. We are so glad y'all are here and match the tablecloths. Okay, Team Cats Culinary. This must be you and all your fancy attire. You look pretty cute. Thank you. And you are? Cynthia Cortez. Max and Mark. Caleb Yanez. Elise Weir. Thank you, guys. Woo! Where's the imposters? Here they are. And your name is? Sydney Cooper. Oh, oh, we missed them. I'm pretty, so sorry. Pretty yeah. fancy. Yeah. 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 But I yes. 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 And over there. Actually, you all are very nice looking bunch. Okay. Yes. You dressed well this yeah. morning, all of you. Hey, hey girl. Hey. 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 Um, Team Community Chronicle. There you go. Matching aprons. And pockets. And pockets. Oh. You know how yeah. girls love pockets. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're Team Eye Candy. Uh, beautiful women. I'm Chuck Roy. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm a uh, editor of the Community Chronicle News Magazine here in the uh, Northeast Saints area. We got beautiful women with us today. Hello, my name is Elle Moidon, Eno McGay, and Linda Wright. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. All of our teams have a set of core ingredients and kitchen equipment that, I don't have my next page, Tracy, do you? <laughs> Tracy? <laughs> Tracy. Oh, oh, here she comes. Can you yeah. We're new at this, can you tell? Seriously. <laughs> and we have other board members here. Can you tell them your name? Hey, Black. And your Sheila Howe. Okay, we're going to do this periodically, board members, so get ready. Okay. All right. Page, Thank you. So, all of our teams have a set of core ingredients and kitchen equipment that they can use to, to prepare their meals. <laughs> but they also have a selection of ingredients that they must use. Don't worry, we're going to let you guys know what these secret ingredients are. After they open their packets. Oh, I shouldn't walk. Everybody. I know, that road will weird out. It'll kill you. No. Uh, but but don't, uh, yeah. Oh, and we just found out they have to use two dairy products in every round. Got it? 
Okay. 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 Because we're the Dairy Festival. Last day of 2018 Dairy Festival. Today. Today. Make sure you come to the pageant. After tonight, we'll have a new queen. Yes, tonight, nice. 7 o'clock. Be there. Okay, back to this cooking yeah. thing. Okay. Um, shameless slug, sorry. Yeah. Each team will be judged on their teamwork, preparation of the food, appearance, creativity, and taste. And remember, if you don't use all of those required secret ingredients, they'll be automatically eliminated. There are 25 possible points, and the two teams with the lowest scores will be eliminated after this round. Teams, are you ready? Woo! Okay, let's try that again. Yeah. Only this side was ready. Yeah. <laughs> teams, are you ready? Yeah. Judges, are you ready? All right, let the games begin. Open your bags. You'll have 20 minutes for discussion. Conversation very much, um, and just don't go into their stations. But feel free to get up and walk around otherwise. And right now they're preparing or starting their list, and in a minute they should be running. So stay out of the way. Yeah. Okay, and we'll be back with prizes, fabulous prizes for you, for you, for you. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid Oh, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand Pantry is squash, spinach, tomatoes, kale, grapes, parsley, jalapeno peppers, and fresh rosemary. Spices are garlic, uh, garlic powder, chili powder, cinnamon, and there's cooking oil, flour, sugar, powdered sugar, brown sugar, salt and pepper, lemon juice, water, ketchup, and cornflakes. So that's what's in the, in the pantry. The dairy products they have to use two of in each dish are milk, uh, pressurized real whipped cream, because you know, 
Curly Whip is not considered a dairy product. But the Ready Whip that you can spray straight in your mouth is. It's way easier if you use that thing. Yeah, that's a dairy product. That's a real dairy product. Butter. Who has a lot of butter? Five minutes. Five minutes, teams. Yogurt, plain and vanilla. They can use either one of those as a dairy product. And cream cheese. And grated cheeses, three three varieties. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Which is really good question. When done and plated, uh, ticket to the judges tent. We have women over here um, already planning to be a part of this next year. Very so. good. Yeah. So we might only have one team after this year, but we got. Yeah, we know who they are. Okay, teams, when you get your three dishes plated, please take them to the judges and plan to give a short uh, dissertation, which is, that was just a little redundant, um, on what you've got in there and something about your plate and the ingredients you use. So the judges, judges are headed that way now also. And Yay! Ready to listen to some music? Oh, Send yes. Sorry. Thank you, judges, for this opportunity. How many jobs do we have? Excited to be here. It's a wonderful Two more here. minutes. We've started with uh, sliced yes. apples. Which Teams, we're going to start uh, clearing away some of your yogurt, dishes off of your powdered sugar and a little bit of brown sugar and then sprinkled the sunflower seeds on top of there for a very nutty flavor. Uh, that's going to be the sunflower seeds and the well, we, two of the ingredients have, in the They bag. have to be able to hear us because they need to know what time is up. Then you will see we have the boat made cucumber that has cream cheese, some cucumber, some ground up cucumber, ground up jalapeno, anything else ground up? Cucumber, meat from the cucumber, in that sauce. Meat, meat from the cucumbers in there, and a cream cheese spread into the cucumber boat with tomatoes that have cheese stuffed in the tomatoes, and then the Cheez-Its that were in the bag were crumbled up to add a little different flair of cheese and sprinkled across, and of course garnished with the uh, parsley. The we hope oven, you enjoy. Uh, so the Cheez-Its are just garnished? They're garnished. Yes. And, and it's, crunch, you, know, you know, you've got regular cheese and cheese it cheese, and it just gives it this cheesy <laughs> cheese <laughs> of a cheese <laughs> flavor. To the, to the palate, it would be a sweet and salty uh, appetizer that would go well with a white wine. <laughs> You tell them your part, and you might like. I just okay. want you to take this as your own. Okay. Okay. We have cucumber boats with a cream cheese spread, seasoned with uh, salt and pepper and garlic. We also have the sunflower seeds and diced apples mixed in the spread. We have the top with the cheese crackers to give it a little bit of more texture, along with the crunch of the cucumber. And we have They're still judging the last one, but... Yogurt mixture. Um, 
we mostly want to do the idea of boy scouting, and we decided that if we were able to make a drill meal, it would be healthier, light, and yet they'll still hold you up to. Yes, ma'am. What are the two dairies? Yogurt and cream cheese. are actually milked every morning. They listen to classical music as they're being milked. We find that it makes me feel a lot better. So. I didn't wear my boots today. <laughs> uh, these are also organic heirloom uh, uh, cherry uh, cherry tomatoes that Rhonda picked from her farm this morning. Incredible. The, that apple came from a tree that her grandmother planted. And uh, we've been really looking for an opportunity to really showcase that apple. So we thought today for you guys was the time. What do, you, what do you do, Gary? And then I put on gloves. We use uh, cream, cream cheese, cheese and shredded cheese. cheese. Nobody tasted this? We'll end. Have to. You just tell. That's a lie. No, you just tell. No. No. <laughs> If you worked for me, I would fire you for food, saying that. Food, <laughs> food, is, food is about looks. No, it's not. It's about taste and looks. Why do you keep eating it then? Hello. Hello. Your cat's cold. Hello, your cat's cold. And what we prepared for you today is a spinach and kale tossed salad mixed with the cherry tomatoes, cucumber, apples with lemon on it and then um, some grapes and topped with uh, sauteed cheeses, crushed cheeses, and uh, grilled and shredded cheese. What are your dairy products? The um, shredded cheese and we sauteed the um, cheeses with butter. Just to add make it a little more crunchy. separated out the items so that you can taste each individual flavor so we don't mask it with some heavy sauce. Um, uh, our team put together a lemon-based, non-vinaigrette, low-calorie, high-protein, something that really focuses on what we're doing here. So it's a healthy community. We have dairy products in here with uh, skim milk and cheese. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Anything to add? Did you guys taste it? Yes. yes. You never cook without tasting. Oh, it's so good. Okay, we 
prepared for you a mini cheese truffle trio. We have a, a fresh, a savory, and a sweet. And our two dairy products are uh, cream cheese and assorted grape cheese. The fresh one with the sunflower. And it was prepared with cucumber and tomato, salt and pepper rolled in salted sunflower seeds. The savory is the one rolled in the cheeses. It is cream cheese, chili powder, and mixed shredded cheeses. And the sweet is cream cheese. Okay. 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 And it's rolled in sunflower seeds. I said that wrong. The fresh was rolled in parsley. Yeah, the fresh was rolled in parsley. I told you wrong. So sorry. Yeah, you messed me up. I'm sorry. I thought it was going to be small. No, no, that's not it. Because it's cream cheese and 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 it's which is effective use of communication. Each team member had a role to perform in our respect to do that. And they get along really well. And they get along really well. And there's no fussing really nice. Uh, preparation, use of all the ingredients. And then food, appearance and quality. That means appearance is a key. Way it appears to be cooked thoroughly. Appears to be cooked thoroughly. If cooked. Uh, creativity. Utilized ingredients in a creative way. Incorporated pantry items into the dish. And last but not least, taste. Pleasing to the taste buds. Okay. Let's see here. Everyone ready to hear? Teams. Team Scouts. I'm sorry you have been whipped. Let's get on the hand for participating though. And we have party prizes for each member. Let's get on the big hand for participating in our first annual whipped challenge. The rest of you in the I want to also thank the Onan staffing volunteers for being out here today. And I know there's a lot of volunteers out here today. So if you're with a particular group, please let me know because we like to publicly thank you. Who's the other group, Cindy? Right here. Who is it? We hope that it's a challenge for the scouts and for the impostas and that they come back next year and whip everybody else. We will be preparing a main dish and you will have 30 minutes to prepare and serve it. Hey Nora, what does the cow say? Okay, are you guys ready? Um, we will bring gloves right over to you. Um, Pam, could you get some gloves, please? Glove patrol. Yeah, glove patrol. Tell me what the cow says. No. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Is that that problem team again? What did you guys need? Take note. Yeah. <laughs> we got gloves. Gloves are on the way. Gloves are on the way. Thank you. 30 minutes. Okay. Now, if we've satisfied the complainers back there, we're probably ready to go. Okay. And go. You guys have 30 minutes. Oh, the three P's. Plan, prepare, and plan. Okay. And we have some lovely volunteers. They're going to help us show us the place when we're done. Our secret ingredients in round two will be quick cooking grits. 
pigs, green onions, bacon, and red apples. And remember, they've got to use those two dairy products. Okay. Good luck, you guys. Okay, I need to see. Oh, with some, uh, with some kale. No, 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 Parsley, any parsley. I don't know. Yeah, there's tomatoes on there. Just once again, thank you for this opportunity to present our food to you. We'd like to call this Breakfast in the South. And uh, what you'll see, of course, when we opened our bag, the five ingredients were eggs and onion and apple and bacon and... Uh, grits. Grits. Thank you very much. So what you'll see is, is our bottom layer there is jalapeno cheese grits. And then the jalapeno cheese grits that we cook, we obviously have jalapeno in there and cheese, but we also uh, chopped up some onion to have in there, one of the five ingredients. And then layered on top of that is a fried egg. And that fried egg is, is garnished with uh, the bacon that was cooked. The bacon that was cooked in the uh, pan is where we cook the apples. The apples are cooked in the bacon grease to get that a bacon apple. <laughs> just, just saying. Yes. We were home. Okay, I think we'll exit now and hand off to Team Two. Thank you.
Okay, Team Tully has a omelet with spinach, jalapeno, onion, bacon, and two cheeses, garnished with cheddar cheese and scallions, and it was sauteed in a combination of butter and bacon grease. We also have sweet apple grits that are mixed with cinnamon and sugar, and garnished with fresh grapes. We call our Southern Delight. We call this at Lumi's. <laughs> I hope it doesn't taste like you saw it. <laughs> I hope it tastes that good. Oh. <laughs> and we look forward to cooking your dessert. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we have the Cody Grub Grits here, and uh, these, uh, I want to say we did a little extra credit on the dairy products. We got cheese, milk, and butter involved. Uh, it's a cheddar grit, and you want to cut right down the middle. I think the yolk's probably perfect, but that's your, that's your decision. Uh, we actually, you gave me the wildcat. And the other one. To answer your question, we did taste it. I'm actually surprised there's any left for you to taste. No, I didn't. She was a wonderful animal. Also, like classical music, she listened to that when the cows were being milked. Mean pet Sal. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he meant. Or her, her name was Sue. But that is her. Name. <laughs> Talk to me about the bacon. Okay, so the the bacon. We actually caramelized the bacon, the apple, and the onion together. Um, with a little brown sugar and some butter. I know you're loving it. So. If you want to have this on your menu, we will allow it. Can I take an apple jam on it? Oh, that's really good. Just the egg and bacon and the apples. I am. Thank you. Okay, Utter Chaos has prepared a summer garden cheese grit, grit scramble with a fresh, sweet, and spicy salsa. Our three dairy ingredients this time is our butter, milk, and cream cheese. This is a Southwest uh, breakfast. Uh, it's a, a sunny side up egg. Uh, we use all three food groups. We use uh, bacon and butter and uh, more bacon. Uh, all the basic ingredients are in the, uh, the grits itself. Uh, cheese, bacon, and uh, basic ingredients. Uh, this is a little bit of a kicked up version. It, it might be a little bit spicy. It, it might be you know, a more moderate palate. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Very cheesy. Oh, it's very, very cheesy. Can <laughs> you taste that bacon in there? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Results. Yes. 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 Results. Yes. 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 Yes.
Why did the bow like a cowboy get fired? Keep it clean. This is a family event. <laughs> he couldn't keep his hands together. Ah! Is that a lot of monster? Uh, okay. Good job. Keep your day job going. What happens when a cow goes through a barbed wire fence? No one knows. Utter destruction. Utter destruction. Okay, good. We've got another one from Caroline. The orange is red. 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 Okay, just looks orange. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. <laughs> That's my favorite. I love that with Caroline. Are you ready? Judges, are you ready? Put one on here so I can get a picture. Here, this hasn't been in this. Oh. Yes okay. or no, Mariel? Let her spread that out right quick. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Once again, judges, thank you for this wonderful opportunity. We like to call this a healthy snack in the park. Beautiful uh, situation we have there. The ingredients that we were given, the Oreo cookies, pudding, the apple is a common ingredient, peanut butter and jelly. And so you'll notice the two apple flats have in between them a... Um, on one piece of the of the apple, we did peanut butter. On the other, we did a cream sauce that was the jelly, cream cheese, and some powdered sugar. Uh, then, of course, with the pudding, we made the pudding and have some uh, milk, obviously, in there with what? Milk. With the milk in there. And so the pudding and the crunched up Oreos all through it with the one Oreo there, uh, garnished with a grape and some whipped cream. So we've got three uh, of the dairy products and all five of the other products. We hope you enjoy this healthy snack for this afternoon. Thank you with the Wildcats. And I would advise express some of that. <laughs> you guys have never tried a dessert quite like this, I promise you. We're aware. Uh, <laughs> so, the uh, Oreo cream on the side, that's just a little fun. We've actually already incorporated the dairy into our peanut butter and jelly parfait. What we have on the bottom is an Oreo crust that is held together by a little bit of whipped cream and peanut butter. We've got a strawberry pudding and just a little, little asterisk here. We did not have power on like the other groups, but we made the best of it. And honestly, we made an Amish dessert, everyone. This was just manpower right here. So, um, so <laughs> you can call it Amish uh, parfait if you would like. It's but. keto. It, it, it is keto, I think, if, if you want to make it that. No, but the uh, the ingredients are all incorporated in the pudding. We actually uh, whisked some of the strawberry jelly in there. And the crust has the peanut butter. It's, honestly, you can drink it if you need to. That's We're all about convenience. We got some of those big straws from Sonic. You can just slurp it down. Very convenient. 
thank you. I can already tell this is a crowd pleaser. We don't need to do the other round if you don't want to, but if it needs to be a formality, we're okay with that too. If you're here, there is no other round. Oh, good. I can tell they're loving it. There's quiet. That's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Cody Grubb. Let the judges get their tabulation sheets together. And then out of chaos, we'll present. We're so disgusting. you say that? Okay, utter chaos. Who is your spokesperson? Mary Ellen. 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 For our final round, we are presenting a caramel apple ring trifecta. We have three sauces that we've prepared using the ingredients that were in the basket. A peanut butter a yogurt sauce, or, go ahead, Oreo uh, pudding sauce, yes. and a strawberry sauce. And the whipped cream got a little melted as we waited in line. What would y'all add to the strawberry sauce? Pudding. The, the pudding. And might be a little lemon. I'm not and sure. lemon, we did. Yes. And we cooked the apple and brown sugar. Because we had no butter. <laughs> <laughs> I did say it was a challenge. And power. <laughs> okay. okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Where are our teams? Are we ready? Okay. Here, Here we go. go. Trace box, you have parting gifts for the teams that have been with, correct? I do. Okay. I do. And they're loving. Thank you. Thank you so much. The first team that's been whipped and eliminated by being whipped. Third place, but not shabby. No. At all. None at all. We have no losers. Not, not in the very We're all winners. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Build them up. Third place with 170 points. Cody Grubb. The anticipation builds. Mike wants to leg wrestle for it. We will eventually, in like three or four years, have a Super Bowl of the winners. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. But it'll have a cuter name than that by the end. Okay. Second place. Not a bad spot to be in. You know you need a lot of teams. Also, wait, say it. Also, still a winner. Thank you. Good job. She's been nice for them. Uh, okay. Number two with 184 points.
got a whole big truck. I got a knee joke. Joanna, I think you've got a hit. How do you it, feel right now? It was a lot of work, but it was fun. That's the whole theme of the Dairy Festival is let's have fun. So I think the teams did very well. They were very competitive. Uh, and I, the board jumped in and helped and uh, couldn't have asked for a better turnout of both spectators and teams. So I'm very, very pleased. It's an autograph picture. I need to get your agent involved. Yeah.